So Acuity does a very, very fantastic job when it comes to tutorials and how to install all their parts. So I'm not gonna really go in depth with it, but after looking at all the footage, this, I think this is, is the hardest part is removing this uh, retainer clip here. They make it look really simple. I think this is the part where most people are gonna have some troubles. They say hammered it out of there, but I don't know if I'm gonna hammer it. Maybe it's, yeah, I'm just gonna hammer it. Okay, that was pretty easy. So what I did, it, it just, I just hammered it around, just like how Acuity shows on their Instagram. And uh, yeah, it just, I just, it just, I don't know, just a lot of patience and I just hammered it around and it just worked perfectly, it just popped right out. So it wasn't, uh, wasn't that hard. So the Indy short throw adapter, it is part number 1983. So we got your base bushings. No, no, this is the uh, adapter to make it a little taller. Okay. That's it, empty, no stickers in this one. And of course your short throw adapter itself. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on right now. So it says that you just have to pop this sucker off. There we go, just like that. So we're gonna open up the uh, shifter rocker upgrade. Some grease and some new locking washers. That's it, no sticker. And with that, we're gonna open up the uh, center spring upgrade too. So we're just gonna go ahead and prep this. And we're gonna put grease in here. They already have, but we're gonna put a little bit more and then grease in the inside here too. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's right here. Makes it really hard when you have all the lube all over. Okay, let me try again. It's gotta be an easier way, but we'll figure it out, right? Yay, we put the pin through, almost there. There. Okay, so we got that in. That was a tough bugger, okay. Okay, now we're just gonna go in and put the retaining pin in. Pretty straight forward here, you guys. I just used a pick, took out the rubber bushing. You gotta take out the uh, steel or whatever it is that holds the rubber bushing in. And then I know to grab this, grab the supplied Allen key, use a spacer, lock and washer that holds it in. And that's it. All right, guys, super sick. Everything is all back together now. Well, on the assembly, on the shifter assembly here. Very, very straightforward, and it's actually pretty easy. The only thing I had a, some problem on was the actual spring itself, but after you figure it out, it's actually pretty easy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in. Everything going in reverse order, and let's go and test this baby out. In my soul, in my soul, in my soul, in my soul. 
Okay, all right. All right, guys, so we're just gonna head over and pick up Lee here. Oh man, first impression, massive difference, you guys. It, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. So we need this one because it's so bright today. Gotcha. I yeah. thought we can stack it, but. No stacking. Then you maybe, because it doesn't film you. No, no, that's fine, that's fine. No, 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 you, you do. <laughs> we, we need to uh, film both. There we go. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. This is Lee's first time after everything is installed. So what we did again was the base bushings. And then we, ch we changed the rocker, stiffened the spring, and then added a short shifter. And of course, the two bushings in the front on the cables. So let's... Uh, full package. Yeah, full package. Be this is stage two before we oh. all fall out shifter. Yeah. I, I felt the difference right away. Yeah. I, uh. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy. It, it's very close. The first, first, my first initial thought is very close to um, S2K. Very close. Very yeah. close. Very yeah. mechanical. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, you don't feel any like uh, uh, dampening anymore. Yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, right, right. It's like it's, no dampening. It's no like, dampening. It's yeah. like gone. It's gone. The clutch is awesome on this too, eh? but again, I changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel it. I right? feel it. Oh wow! Huge difference. Huge difference. Wow! Right? <laughs> Way easier. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> I noticed that it engages like easily. Yeah, very easily. easily. You actually spend less effort to right, go into the right, gear. Yeah. Right? Realistically, you guys, like wow. on, on my channel, I, I don't bullshit. Like I tell you guys, like they're straight up. If it's a good product, it's a good product. If it's not a good product, I will tell you it's not good. And I'm, this is all, oh, my only feeling I can tell you is Closest is S2K because I haven't driven a Miata yet, but S2K, this is exactly very, very close to it, you guys. Very mechanical. Yeah. There's no dampening anymore, like Lee says. Yeah. Like, oh, I knew it. Like, I was like, oh, Lee's gonna be so happy with this thing. <laughs> yeah, wow, it's good. Ooh. Yeah, I tell you, Acuity, you guys did a fantastic job, you guys. For I, I, I think it's like four, three hundred, four hundred bucks. For the Canadian, 400 bucks Canadian out the door, I think. Don't quote me on it, but I'll put the link in the description below, you guys, for the exact actual kit. Or you can, again, you can get it at Sub 60 and uh, Envision Auto Imports if you guys That's really right. want it in Canada. So, for all you guys with FL5s or FK8, hit up Lee and Yifan here or uh, Gerald. I'm telling you guys, you would be so happy with this. This is a must. Yeah. And the installation didn't really take me long. Like, I'm not a full-on mechanic or anything like, by any means. It was really easy to uh, install. And that's the biggest thing. Easy to install, you guys. Yeah, they did a good job. Is it higher? It's higher too, right? Yeah. It's higher, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. I like mine a little higher. I don't like yeah. it too low. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is a good position. Nice, eh? <laughs> Race car, bro. Nice, you guys. Yeah. Wow. Game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I'm impressed. Yeah. 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 I was impressed when I when I drove. I was like, oh. Because um, after the last video, right? Um, so in my shop we have a FK8 with the. I think hy hybrid, hybrid racing. racing. Hybrid racing, yeah. Uh, it's a, like shifter assembly. Yeah. So I did. 
throttle in that car and then try, you know, how to yeah. shift. It's pretty, like, you have to spend a lot of effort to go into the gear. Yeah. Uh, it is short, but, like, you kind of, like, have to focus, get into the gear. But yeah. this one, it's very natural. Yeah. Very, very natural. And then... That's what I it felt. Sucking. It, it felt natural. It felt natural. really natural. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. This is a good one. Good one. This is a good one. Yeah. And then eventually you're gonna do the assembly yeah. too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Step by step. Step by step. Yeah. If it's this good, oh man, I. I, <laughs> you I, I can't imagine how. You can't imagine that yeah. full on shifter would be. Yeah. Because you can adjust everything. I like this position. Yeah. Yeah. I if like. If you it. go track, this is uh, this is really good. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know when people would. It's so low. I don't know how they do it. It's, it's so far down. Yeah, I, it's like, I think, because everything is uh, by leverage. So, yeah. higher, easier. Yeah. Lower, it's uh, short, but... But m way more effort. Oh, right? way more effort. Yeah. Way more effort. Yeah. yeah. Shifting times are going to be long. I, I Personally, I think it's going to be too long. Yeah. Um, so, my Miata, right now it's stock. Right? Yeah. It's very low, you know, short, uh, short uh, stubby shift knob. Yeah. I plan to change to some sort of a longer one yeah. for the track. Yeah. Then, yeah, yeah that's I like the it way. better. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Speaking of shift knobs, so Acuity Instruments was nice enough to give me one of the uh, their Esco shift knobs, and I figure instead of like, I want to pass it on to one of you guys because I already have a shift knob for myself, and then they gave me the black one. Originally, I wanted the white or the titanium. But they gave me the black insulated uh, shift knob here. Very nice. Weighted? So, yeah, it's weighted. Weighted? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Nice weight. Yeah. Yeah. Nice soft touch to it, you guys. So, first guy to comment or first girl to comment. I love Acuity Instruments. I will give this to you guys. As long as you guys follow the channel, follow me, follow Lee, and follow, of course, Acuity, and subscribe to my channel. And this is yours, you guys. That's it. I'll be checking and uh, like again, first person. So good luck. One lucky you. Yeah. This is very nice. This is the pretty much the dream shifter. Yeah. You know what, what, what I feel like this close to? Um, I think it's pretty close to Porsche too. No, 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 no. I think Porsche is like the best. Have you drove Porsche before? Yeah. Manual? Yeah. It's it's good. Man. It's good, but this is pretty close. Yeah. And that's like that's like the benchmark that we're trying to hit. Yeah. Like, uh, by far, Porsche is like the best shifter for sure, guys. Yeah. And that that is the benchmark. The Honda shifters are good, but this is better. Like this is better, you guys. I don't, I don't know how they did it, but it is better. <laughs> by by far, by far home. margin. Yeah. It is not just a small amount, it's like by far huge, huge difference in shift. Like very, very direct. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't see how you would miss shift. Oh, there's like, no way. There, right? It goes... It goes smooth, like in butter. Shift. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? There's no way... Uh, there's no way. There's no way you can sh miss shift on that. There's no way. It make driving so much more fun like you want shift yeah 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 i feel like it's, it's very nice they did a good job man mm -hmm. they did a good job <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what do you think lee what's your uh conclusion 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 yeah i agree 10 out of 10 you guys Good job, right. Acuity. <laughs> okay, thanks you guys. Lee, thanks again. It's always a pleasure for you to uh, be on my channel. Uh, hit them up, you guys. Because you have two Instagrams, right? Uh, the other one, just Miata. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just for my uh, guy for drive, fun. Yeah, I drive Miata. Which one do you for, uh, prefer them to follow? Just one M underscore Lily. Oh, okay. Do you want that one? Yeah. Okay, I'll put yeah, that one. The main one. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks again, Lee. Yeah, appreciate it. And that's it for this, uh, this week's channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next week. Peace out. Yeah.